Good morning YouTube, this EXO coming at you here with another update for my second channel. We just got ourselves back from a show yesterday at Sanford Sound. It was a blast and the weekend before last we actually went down to St. Jude's and had a blast there too. Always a great time competing in the NADBL. I'm going to be trying to qualify for finals this year. But yesterday at the show shit was freaking flexing everywhere and I broke some more shit. I can't work my door locks. I got locked inside my car. Luckily, we had some really cool people helping me there. A girl named Lauren was like freaking trying to help me stick her hand in there and try to get the damn lock because it goes this way because I had to install the door poppers. So that little pop rivet and little cable system was just getting in the way everywhere we go went. So we had to uh, put this little thing back on there, thread it back on and do it by hand. But now listen to this. It, it makes a weird little solenoid noise every time you you act activate it. Check it out. What? It didn't do it. Hold on. Let me try it. Maybe it's when you go up. Huh. Maybe it's fixed right now because it fixed itself earlier and I could finally lock it. Hold on. No, it's still something's still not right. See, I can't even it won't even lock or unlock. So something's still pinched. So I have to take off the entire door panels, guys. So now it's not even doing what it was doing earlier. But I still have manual control over it, but it sucked because I had my window up at one point, so I couldn't I couldn't freaking get out of the car. Some casualties of war yesterday, some some kicks to the speaks, especially on that side when people get in and out, um, getting to getting demos, but no harm, no foul. You know, it's just a couple scruff marks. I really don't care. Doesn't bother me any. And uh, actually at the show the other weekend, people didn't know that my box goes in like fucking 36 Q, so Let's go ahead and take a walk on the wild side, and I'll show you guys um, inside the uh, the box. So let's go to our flashlight, and whoops, don't power off, and we'll show you the inside of the box here. It's 36 cubes with the port in, which is on both sides. It's tuned to 28 and peaks at like 32 to 35, um, and then with the port out, it's tuned to in the 40s, and it peaks at like 46. I think, I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% positive. But let's go ahead and get in the box here and show you around. I have some LEDs in here, but um, my damn controller box, I think I mentioned that it shit the bed already. So we have all the information listed right here for the box, right inside the box. You can see that everything is, you ha have all the math done right in here as far as the cutouts and how much cubes everything is working with. Um, I wanted to do it all on the inside of the box so I can remember what it is. And I got the woofer displacement up there, but it came into this uh, right here. So there's the one of the woofers in here. Uh, each woofer is kind of separated and has like its own little pressure uh, build-up chamber in here. So that's why I did that. It has like a little thing. You see that? All the way up. It kind of encompasses it. It kind of emulates what's going on in the top. So um, back in there. I resined everything in here as far as I could go back. Um, that's the LEDs. Those are the LEDs right here um, going up. As you can see, it's. I didn't resin over that because, you know, I didn't want to ruin anything. But, uh, yeah, so there's the inside of the box. 36 cubes, 37.9. Um, and then and then obviously I got some, some displacement to take in here. So we're going to add some 45s right in here, if you can see, uh, straight up all the way to make this flush right in there. So... All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. So that's just showing people that didn't know that I actually have a pretty fucking big box. You just can't really tell by uh, by sitting in front. So yeah, freaking yesterday was awesome, guys. Had a great time. And now, what are we gonna do today? We have to, let's see if you can see. This damn lighting is horrible. Holy smokes. So what we're gonna have to do is get a little podium here. Yeah, because I can't fucking, I can't get into my back doors without figuring this out first. So I gotta fucking, you know, finagle this around because this used to work and now it doesn't. Something's, something's loose in there. We gotta take this all off. So we gotta go in here and then take out our speakers, all of the speakers. There's two more bolts in there and then a couple more screws and then a couple screws right here. Um, they didn't hold very well, but it's been years now, so I guess it's doing its job. I also broke this at the show. I wasn't very happy. My rain guards fucking snapped on me. So now that up there is looking all haggard as shit. It's not even doing its job. I was getting a little bit wet on the way home. I jammed all the way to the show and all the way back from the show. So I only competed in baseball on yesterday. I didn't do uh, SPL. 
uh, so I took I took first in that. I just wanted to see how loud it goes. That's what I like doing. I like fucking just jamming it as loud as it will go. It's definitely always a good time. I got my new toolbox here. Oh, well, there's where my sandwich went. I had to stop for an emergency friggin' uh, food, and I, I left my sandwich in my truck. There's a nice shot right there. Holy shit, that is, that is nice. Friggin', I like this fisheye. I can actually zoom out even more than that. Check that out. But then you can see, like, this little the lens right here. These are the edges of the lens right here, right there. So if I zoom in, you can get rid of it like that. So that's why I zoom in just a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get some blocks. I think I have some spare wood. Oh, God, see, I just kicked my own speaker. Oh, my goodness. I accidentally freaking broke another belt yesterday. Well, not, I didn't break it. I just uh, snapped one of the ribs off. It's because I totally forgot to unplug the top three. So, yeah, I was jamming with all five again. But as long as I unplug these harnesses from these three, those two alternators do pretty damn good. My voltage was dropping a little low because I gave like 30 minute demos and then like even sometimes longer than that yesterday. I just gotta get that damn thing straightened out. This tensioner is very weak. Hopefully by the time I, uh, you know, that by the time finals comes around, I'll have another sing uh, single bolt tensioner. That's stronger, stronger wound spring, slightly more uh, beef to it, you know what I'm saying? But I met someone yesterday who had similar problems as me with the tensioner bouncing, so I'm glad I'm not the, well, I'm not, not saying that I'm glad he has the problem too, but I'm glad I'm not the only person who is experiencing similar problems, you know what I'm saying? We gotta find our spare MDF here, and we're gonna make a big stack of wood so we can take our door panels off without them falling them down. This is my center console, or what used to be of my center console. And uh, don't worry guys, check this out, I got some MDF right here. I haven't forgotten about my home audio project. Holy crap, someone needs a belt. You hear that? What the hell? Here's gonna be some of the wood for the home audio project, my big towers that I'm gonna be building for all the Parts Express speakers that I got for amazing deals. You wouldn't believe um, how cheap some of the stuff they have over there um, really is. Oh, and hey, check this out. The, uh, this is the trophy I got from the uh, other show last weekend, the North American Decibel League. Big thanks to Jeremy Smithers, always puts on a great show. I'm gonna try to make it to the St. Jude show every year um, now. It's really, I'll try to make it like a little staple. Pretty damn good people. Uh, Kenny Lee took some really good shots of the truck. Oh, but you know what? If there's one thing I wanna mention, you know, really in this video, is that lately, when I'm going to shows and all that, all I'm doing is focusing on having a good time. You know what I mean? Like, I barely bring my camera anymore to, 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 for these shows, you know, just because I, I love the the one-on-one -on -one interaction you have with the other person in the seat. You know what I mean? You, you, you're with them. You're not worried about, you know, holding the camera and looking at them because then it, it makes their reaction change a little bit, whether they want to admit it or not. Like, whenever someone's on camera, their natural disposition, if you will, changes a little bit. You know, they, they either become more shy or... You know, m you know, I like to, yeah, I like to just sit there with somebody and jam, just me and them. If they want to film it, great. But lately, I've been just leaving the camera at home, so it really feels good. I got awesome footage lined up and everything, but um, there you go, passing in a fucking double line, passing in a double line. What a douchebag, fucking motorcycle guy that was. But uh, yeah, I mean, I got TDH, I got SBN still. Um, the first Sanford Sound Show, I think. Uh, some more stuff from the Frozen SPL show from other people's cars like Leo's uh, setup and you know just is so much backed up and if you guys haven't noticed it's been nice weather and because I live in Maine I try to eat up as many of those nice days as possible it's almost August let's just admit it it's fucking winter time in Maine already not really I'm exaggerating but it gets to be cold so freaking quick so sitting up in a bedroom or sitting inside editing all day it really makes you feel like like you're wasting valuable time outside and so that's what I've been doing lately been trying to work on the on the project as much as I can and uh, if you're wondering about the blow through and stuff um, I think I've already mentioned this once but uh, my dad scored a new full-time job and I'm working with him occasionally too just going up and helping him on the job site it's been hard to to get our schedules coinciding at you know because it was really easy to meet up when he had nothing going on free time out the wazoo but not anymore. So that's why you've been seeing a delay on the blow through videos. Don't don't worry though. I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, when, when I start getting shit done, I get it done quick. So the amplifier install literally is almost um almost complete. I just got to get a I have to get a couple more shots for this. Even though I had some leniency with the other video, I could kind of just put the little demo at the end and call it good. 
With this one, I definitely want to walk through and, and explain the wiring that I did and everything like that because, you know, it, it kind of jumped along uh, during the video. So, um, this video is going to be a freaking long update video. I don't care. I haven't made one in a while. So, we have to get this shit open. We have to figure out a way to get this open today so we can get the shit that's in there. I got some stuff in there, my camera bag, and a, a bunch of other various stuff. Um, spare belts. So... Let's get that. This is also locked, and this is also locked. So I can't get into anything in my system. Not a single thing. Everything is locked. Okay. I just want to mention one thing. Yesterday at the show, you know, it was, it was really great to see the family of this guy right here. Good old fellow, Basehead. Um, a fallen Basehead from just this year. I'll never forget his setups. Very unique. Um, always doing something new with his... With his um, car audio installations and uh, I just want to send you know uh, as much love as I can out to the family here it's a nice local competitor who you know always showed his support and love for the uh, for the league uh, NESPL TNESPL so um, you know rest in paradise my man and we're all thinking of you I'm gonna rock this on my car uh, just for you my man these are his double X's or um, I believe they're the double X's um, maybe they're the triple X's I'm not sure but you know, there you go, my man. You're going to have a special place right on my truck. All right, so let's go ahead and put the camera on the tripod, guys, and uh, get a little lighter-hearted here and get these door panels um, off. It's going to take a lot of work. I'm not going to go through the whole thing individually because, you know, it's just it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. I'm going to put the camera right here and uh, get to working. What do you say? And just like that, we have ourselves a little makeshift podium. So we can rest the door pod right on it, right on the bottom. So when I undo these, it won't just fall off. This thing weighs like 80 pounds. I put in so much material into it. All right, there's just the tens taken out. Friggin' this guy's dangling up here. I'll be taking care of that later, but look at all the friggin' dust I can vacuum out of here. Holy shit, we've been spitting up some shit. This is just uh, flex stone debris right here. So that's not, that's not coming off. But this stuff will be able to come right off. That's just a little bit of dust, a little bit of foam specks that's been flexing out of here. I'm going to go ahead and tape up around this a little better and figure out what the hell is going on with our locking system. This used to work fine. I used to be able to push lock and unlock with it. Now something's not connected, right? So we got to we got to figure out what's going on, guys. This is uh, some alpha damp right here. Second skin alpha damp. I might have to give them a little message because I might just need some more deadening. Ch listen to this, guys. Listen. I'm going to put... I only really put it on the other side. I did spot treatment on this side. So I might do a whole layer on this side because it has a lot of... A lot of uh, resonance to it. Unwanted shit I don't want to hear. Yeah. So, what we got to do... Uh, you can see we shaved that down month Years ago, we shaved this down so everything can fit. And this, oh look, this came loose too. A little screw. I'm not going to use these anymore. It's because I couldn't get a bolt into it. I can't get my hand back there to uh, access the back for a bolt. But we have one right next to it, so it's not so bad. There's one right here. So let's now remove these two speakers so we can get to those stinking bolts. And then there's those two speakers. And we just got to get that one bolt right in there. I guess I was mistaken. There's one bolt and one screw. But look how bad that screw stripped out from the door flexing up and down and left to right. It's like the opening wasn't even there anymore. It's completely gauged out. We gotta really beef this thing up so it's gonna be staying on there really good um, and not making all that stupid bunny rabbit noise, which is mainly coming from the locking mechanism itself. But I have a feeling that if we tighten everything up and get all that situated, making this really firm to the door will help with that uh, too. So all we got to do now is get these two, boom, this one, and this one, and we're good to go. There she is. Now you can see all the shit that I did. Holy smokes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try to make this a little bit neater and quiet some shit up in here. Listen to that. Hate that noise. So it definitely wasn't my door panel making that noise. It was, it was, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find that and then figure it out, guys. We'll have, it'll be a slow process, but something's broken in here. We gotta figure out what's going on. We got the second door almost completely off here 
and this is a little more complicated we have this is like the master switch where if this isn't plugged in that window won't work and i have these little special connections down here so i can uh, unplug them but uh it's not the best looking back there but i remember i was like you know a few days before leaving richard's house down in tennessee years ago and i wanted to have the behringer and the amp and everything ready and playing uh with my door pods and stuff so that's why i kind of just squished it back in there so we'll try to do another little bit of a uh, second skin in here but i'm really excited to say that i fixed the problem guys and it was pretty simple i'll show you what's going on if i can get the camera in here i'm gonna have to uh squeeze you guys in real real tight here let's see if we can get this holy shit i almost just dropped the camera in there damn all right so there's my uh door popper the 80 pound one i had to cut out some of the uh second skin to install it for the clearance um in the window track but if you look just to the other side of it see that little dangling piece right there well, that whole mechanism where everything joins up, the lock that goes up and down this way, and the door that goes right here, this little thing that attaches to the door, everything was all jammed. This was crisscrossed. It must have been from the flex and all. So yesterday, when it, that's why when I pounded on the door yesterday, like really, really hard, it actually almost fixed the problem. So I came in here and just freed up everything and cut a little more off that piece, so now it's like a lot less ob obstructive, obstructive? I don't know if that's the right word, but a lot less of an obstruction. And hopefully, now that we replaced the fuse, well not hopefully, I already know that it works, but we won't have, hopefully we won't have any future problems. I had to replace this 25 and this 30 because it was constantly firing, firing, firing. There's like a little sensor right here and something was just wrong. So it was like, ew, 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 ew. And people, you know, you could hear it if you were just on either side of the door. All, both sides were doing it. And so it, it was, something was definitely wrong. So now we should have full functionality of the switch. Let me go over here, Let's see. Let's check it out. I have this all plugged in and we should be able to to unlock. There we go. Sweet. That was a pain in the in the butt, guys, cuz this right here threads on and off. I don't know if you can see, but that bitch goes on and off and I lost the plastic piece inside the freaking door panel. So that was a pain in the butt. So, um, either way, I'm still glad I took these door panels off because I needed to do some touch-up work with the uh, with editing it and make it sound better on the mids and highs because these things are now so powerful. The uh, PWXs are, are pushing out so much power that the it's just vibrating the doors. Fucking everything in here just goes... Everything just makes noise. I'm gonna try to fix that. It's fucking really annoying and I hate it going to shows, you know. Oh yeah, you know, sorry guys, it sounds like shit, but... You know, it really actually sounds good when you, when you start jamming it. Uh, I had a really successful day yesterday. So, yeah, I mean, freaking hell, guys. The, the, I, I can't say enough about the Crescendo gear. The, this whole season has been amazing. I love the Crescendo uh, amplifiers. Let's go ahead and pop the... So now that we finally can, all nice and we can get into every door that we need to. Just, I mean, fucking hell, guys. You got to admit, this shit is really... It's just top of the notch, you know. I fucking... I'm so happy with it. Everything just looks the part, and I'm just, just sounds great. So, um, 30 seconds on music. I think I already, already mentioned it was like a 57 um, one, and I fucked up the second round. Came out volume 32, but I made up for it in the end. It's hard to make up ground once you've already freaking flopped out the gate. You know what I'm saying? And a uh, big shout out to always. I love my PSI recons, guys. Let's look at the people. The people don't believe it, but look, this is true, man. Freaking 2012. In 2011, these coils were made back in 2011, and they're still going strong. Even though they haven't been playing that whole entire time, I beat the living piss out of these things. And I've, I've, and I'm not exaggerating. When I've only smelt these probably five times, um, three, you know, a handful of those being at shows, giving people demos, and then I'll, I'll chill out a little bit. Um, but, but what can I say? Sometimes I drive them into clipping because, you know, I'm, you know, I, I love fucking jamming, you know what I'm saying? So I, I sometimes go the extra mile and, uh, you know, <laughs> go outside my, probably the clean wave there. So, oh, yeah, and look at these big bad boys on the backside. No one's really been able to see those, but check it out. Oh, yeah, that's a big hefty magnet on there, huh? Gotta love it. I was thinking possibly in the future, I'm not really sure the, the situation on the Neos, can you even see, son of a pig? I'm gonna be looking maybe at the Neos, possibly selling these, and then just uh, telling Crescendo, you know, sending them over the money that I sell these for, and maybe getting some Neos? Who knows, guys, I hear those things sound great. Or maybe keeping the PWXs for the mid-bass, and maybe some Neos right here, you know, so I can get some extra scream factor. 
So this finally is opening up. I can get, what? It didn't open. Uh-oh. That's not good. Let's try that again, you tubulus. Oh dear God. Hopefully nothing's messed up on that relay. It might be a, a, a separate relay for this door. Hold on. No, no, I just had to push it twice. I only pushed it once. There they are. Had some questions about the symphonies, man. Freaking literally, these are the only amps for the whole mids and highs. And they scream. They freaking scream. Always at the show, dude, sounding real good. I gotta get my little, uh, uh, my little windshield guard here rocking because I want to make sure I keep the cabin nice and cool. I always keep her fairly cold in there. So we're gonna do that in just a couple seconds. But now we gotta take care of all this shit so we can get to going in the next couple days doing this. So. Sorry if this is a really long video, guys. I just wanted to make something, you know, for today. I've been, you know, just, you know, trying to figure out what to do with, you know, the next step with the, with this bad bitch. So, you know what I'm saying? Something's always breaking, but that's the, that's the joy of being loud, I guess, huh? All right. Well, until the next video, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Call it good. Continue to work on the beast today. All right. This is EXO. Signing out. <laughs>